So we finally have the whole lineup of P55 boards from MSI. Now we already showed you the G65 when I got my early review sample. Now let's take a look at the P55 CD53. Now you'll notice that the box color is a little bit different from the GD65 and the GD80. And that's because this is their mainstream series. Okay, so it has a C in the title and it's a green box. That's how you can tell that it's a mainstream or classic series board. So let's get this box open here and see what we can find inside. So you've got a still pretty good accessory package. So you got your CD, you've got your drivers and utilities, MSI extras, user guide, quick installation guide, OC Genie manual, that's cool. The one I had didn't come with a manual for that, so I still don't know what it does. Uh, Winky is also included, which is, I didn't know last time, here's the manual, but Winky is like an instant on feature for the board. Okay, then we got a floppy cable, IO cover, a couple SATA cables, an IDE cable, nothing particularly exciting on the accessory front. You can tell this is a lower end board than the GD65 and the GD80. So now let's get the board out of the anti-static baggie here. If I can get this tape to release on the back, there we go. And here we have it, the P55 CD65. So let's have a look at the IO shield first. So we don't have any eSATA, we don't have any digital audio, it's a far more bare bones board, but we do have 10 USB ports, PS2, gigabit ethernet, and 7.1 audio. And then let's have a look at the expansion slots that we've got on this board. So you've got your one second overclocking, OC Genie, let's get that sticker off. So we've got three PCI, three PCIe 1X, and a PCIe 16x slot. Now the layout is otherwise very similar including down here we've got the OC Genie button right there. We've got an onboard power button which is very exciting to see on such uh, an entry level sort of price point board. You've also got your base clock adjustment buttons here which we did a, a blog video showing the, uh, the use for. Then you've got your chipset uh, heatsink, eight SATA ports, if I can just get the camera around here, so these are off the south bridge and these are off the J-Micron chipset that also powers the IDE port. Your power ports are in their ideal locations along the right hand edge of the board and up at the very top left corner and then here you've got your typical LGA 1156 socket. You can put four DIMMs of DDR3 memory and this board, even at this low price point, wow, there's a truck going past. There's a pure later truck headed to our uh, warehouse behind me here. So I'm gonna have to speak pretty loudly, I think, or maybe we'll just wrap it up. We've got Dr. Moss and there you have it. That is the P55 CD53 motherboard from MSI. Thanks for watching.